with some of my favorite chefs Ooh. cooking up their favorite holiday dishes right here in my kitchen. Ooh, welcome back. That was a look at the new season of Selena and Chef. To talk with us more about it is Chef Russ Rontour and Food Network host Michael Simon. Yeah. What's up, Michael? Hey, guys. How are you? I just want to say before we get started, if everybody in America had to work in the customer service industry for a month and ride the subway for a month, um, we would be in a better place. I, and that's all I'm going to totally say. About I that, right? totally agree. Totally we agree. all worked in the Every service one of industry. Us. Every yep. one of First us. job was a busboy. Shout yes. out. Yes. Same. Shout out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Tori, it's on you now. Oh, yeah, that was my time about the bus boy situation. Okay. Maybe he should welcome you to DB. <laughs> yeah, hey there, Michael. What's your question for me? Okay, uh, I would like to know, you cook with Selena Gomez, and I love this show on the new season of Selena and Chef. I wanted to know, how is Selena at cooking, and are there any bad habits you've had to break her from doing? Well, I, first of all, the, the, the wonderful thing about doing it in her house and with her and her grandparents were there and friends is she is as lovely as a human as everyone thinks she is I, I like she what a special person um so for, for me it was incredibly enjoyable to do that um you know she she's in the third season of the show now and her chops as a cook she's getting better and better yeah. as a cook she's comfortable in the kitchen and most importantly i think she really loves cooking and she loves feeding people that she cares about and 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 if if you love feeding people that you care about you're, you're going to be a good cook it mm -hmm. just happens it um you know, I grew up with a Greek Sicilian mother, so my whole life was around food and watching people come to the table and my, my grandparents and my parents cooking for them. And so, you know, she is, uh, I think, very comfortable. She didn't have a lot of bad habits. And she, the, the, her greatest asset, I think, is she truly wants to learn, you know? So um, she's not afraid to do things. A couple things like breaking down the lobster, she got a little freaked out, but then she dove in. It's an know? antenna. So, the antenna are kind of freaky a little bit. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Always beware of the antenna. That's, yeah. you know, life's greatest lesson. Uh, my darling, uh, the new season is all based around holiday cooking, and I've got something in my mind, but I'm going to see if you were on the same wave wavelength here. What's something that people should stop making for the holidays? Ooh. Um, I think a couple things. One of them is uh, uh, Jello salad. I don't understand how that falls into the category of <laughs> That's salad. A thing? I just find yeah, it so like uh, No. Um, oh my gosh, my expectations have just got even lower. <laughs> just also that ambrosia salad grosses me out completely, and any kind of casserole that is made with canned soup. Ooh. <laughs> oh dear. So what's your worst? Okay, the, the thing that freaks me yeah. out, since I've lived in America, this freaks me out. You guys put marshmallows on sweet potatoes. <laughs> I, I'm horrified. I'm horrified. You're right. You should be horrified. Why are you putting something sweet on something that's out, out, already sweet? I'll be honest, darling. I don't darling. understand it either. I'll be honest, Britain's not known for its fine cuisine or that much, but even I've got a problem with some of it here. <laughs> you know what, though? The, the food in London has gotten so much better over the past 20 years, it's incredible. Our like, fish I mean, the and chips Indian and gravy food's puts most great. to shame. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you got Marco Pierre really changed things there, and then it continues to grow. It's it's great food scene. Nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm anxious to ask you this next question because, you know, when I was a little kid growing up, you know, there's certain things where you're like, that's what rich people do. So, like, surf and turf <laughs> is like just what I thought rich people oh, is did. That right? Yes. Oh, and, really? It, yeah, that was like my big marker for if you had money. I was like, they went, they got surf and turf. You know? It was like a big deal. Yeah. So, you know, you focus on surf and turf with Selena, uh, which everybody loves, obviously. But are there any new food combos that people should try? Well, you know, I think, too, like just surf and turf in general. I mean, I grew up, my, my grandfather was a pipe fitter. My dad worked at Ford. So, I, you know, I grew up with very humble um rustic homey food which is kind of the, the backbone of even how i run my restaurants is I, I love cooking that style food but so surf and turf for me as a kid was very bougie and i like to make it sometimes as an adult but sometimes you could think outside the box where it doesn't cost an arm and a leg like you know pork and shrimp would mm. be surf and turf and, Ooh, and is yeah. incredibly common within like asian cuisine so um you know like even if you did like a a pork tenderloin with sa with some sauteed shrimp and ginger and cilantro and chilies and and things of that nature you, you could get a surf and turf on the table for you know a lot less expensive than um prime beef and lobster that's clever oh, that's no. cool. very clever yeah. you know another another great tip is like what we did with selena and chef is we put the lobster in with a pasta like so that way, you know, 
pasta isn't expensive to make. So you have the pasta, which is inexpensive, and you could stud it with lobster as opposed to giving everybody a half a lobster, a whole lobster, you know, one lobster could then feed four to six people. Wow. That is Michael, smart. thank you so yes. much for joining us today. We hope we have you back. DBL Nation, don't miss Michael on Selena and Chef Home for the Holidays Thursdays on Food Network and streaming on Max. And be sure to pick up his book, Simply Simon Suppers, available now. Yeah. Thank you so much, Michael. Happy holidays. We'll be right back. Thank you. Have a great holiday, guys. Right, Thank bro. you.